The other big developing story that we're following this noon is the fallout from that fight that broke out at the Cole Center last night. This happened in Wisconsin after the Michigan Michigan Wisconsin game. Wisconsin wins that game 77 to 63 over Michigan and this is the video that we've all been seeing of the Michigan men's basketball coach, the head coach Juwan Howard throwing uh, a slapping uh, his hand against uh, another assistant coach's face during post game handshakes. Reactions to his actions are continuing to pour in and the very latest on how everything unfolded and what sparked it all. We sent it out to Priya Mann joining us live from Ann Arbor. Priya. And Rhonda, there's no shortage of opinions, whether it's in the newsroom or here on campus. You know, some say Juwan Howard should be fired. Others say he should be suspended. And then some say he didn't do anything wrong. He was just protecting himself. You know, a frustrating season for U of M's men's basketball team just got worse after Wisconsin beat Michigan 77 to 63 last night. The melee breaks out in the handshake line between Michigan coach Juwan Howard and members of the Wisconsin coaching staff. In the final moments of the game, Wisconsin head coach Greg Gard called a 30-second timeout. Out. Some say Howard took offense to that. As the two head coaches approached each other in the handshake line, the Wisconsin coach put his hand on Howard's arm to explain why he called the timeout. Howard backed up and put his hand on guard's chest and told guard he wasn't going to forget the timeout, and things just devolved from there. As Howard and guard continued to talk heatedly, more Wisconsin coaches arrived, and that's when Howard reached out and hit the Wisconsin assistant coach as Michigan players then jumped in. Today, the National Action Network Michigan spoke out in front of the president's House saying they don't condone violence, but an equitable approach starts by calling into question the initiators, in this case, Coach Guard's behavior. Take a listen. There have been too many people who have issued a rush to judgment. And in this rush to judgment, they have demonized the athlete as well as the coach, Jawan Howard. And we're also hearing from U of M's athletic department in a statement released last night. Uh, they say there is no excuse for any of our staff or student athletes to get into a physical altercation with others, regardless of instigating factors. We will review the situation more thoroughly and work with the Big Ten Conference as they determine their disciplinary actions and will determine if further disciplinary actions are warranted. So I mentioned that they spoke outside the president's house today. Just want to show you these signs have been up for months. U of M, uh, no stranger to controversy. These signs, of course, up for Dr. Anderson. Then you have the former president who was fired, and then you have the provost as well. So a lot of controversies facing U of M right now, and of course, this just does not help their image. We'll be talking to students here and hearing from analysts coming up. We'll have much more tonight at 5 and 6. Reporting live in Ann Arbor, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.